for the year 2026, what is an app? What should I be as a vibe coder, software developer be ready for? Today, I have an answer. The app, which not just visually looks beautiful with an AI, but actually makes money from day one, available on mobile variants on iPhone, Android, plus it is ready to be hooked with the database, open to the world to make changes. And most importantly, it can run in a multi-agent system for hours, even when I'm sleeping, driving or whatever. But today, the important message is to learn the state of AI before 2026, which stage we are at right now, how wipe coding is going to work in the next one year so that you can ship faster with payment database authentication all integrated in one go thanks to the most powerful app out there called Replit. Replit, even though they are sponsoring this video, I paid $25 buy my own credit card to actually learn how Replit works and to show you how it is enabling you to deliver websites, mobile apps that actually work with payment configured and database right in front of you so that you can make money using your apps from day one. Even Andre Karpati, when he was building wipe coding apps, in his session, he mentioned that majority of time he wasted actually in shipping product using Vercel and figuring out Vercel to actually make the web page ready for users to check out. Number two, to actually integrating Stripe for payments into the website. And now I'm going to show you all of that integrated in 30 minutes right in front of me with a beautiful design and through an app that actually works. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to show you the essence of Silicon Valley with which I started the video that Silicon Valley does one thing better than all of the world out there is actually not, not just shipping fast, not just, you know, making apps faster, but it's actually making a shitty app and improving along the way. Let me show you some of the coolest apps that you might know, but you might not know how they started. Look at Airbnb. It was just this page without any payments, without any Mac view, and the CEO, CTO was not even a full-time CTO. It was just a, he was just a part-time CTO. Look at next one, I'm gonna show you Twitch. It had no video game integrated with Twitch, which we associate with it right now. And most importantly, my favorite vibe coder named Peter Levels. So Peter Levels is one of the famous vibe coder who makes up, up to $3 million a year. Do you know how? Just by two steps. Number one, just posting on Twitter, build in public community that is this idea good, should I work on it? And then just ships with payment page ready. And for example, if I show you the nomads.com website, this is what we're going to build today. So nomads.com is something I have also paid $100 for it. I met, you know, digital nomads in Thailand using this app in a meetup. So the idea of this app was when he created, it was just an Excel sheet, not even an app, not even a website. And look at it. It's making $16,000 right now per month. Just Think about it again. It's making $16,000 per month, which started from an Excel sheet. So Silicon Valley teaches you, you need to ship and then improve. Rest of the world just, you know, spends months, years into just crafting perfect idea and then thinking, planning, customer validation, and then shipping. But this guy or Silicon Valley, especially the mindset, you just ship a shitty app and make it less shitty along the way. And that's what I'm gonna teach you with an app that I've already made, especially by paying using my own credit card to Replit. So Replit Agent 3.0, when, when it released, I tried it immediately. I was like, it's just like any other vibe coding app. But then I realized when we are coding with you know, different vibe coding tools, we're going back and forth between different prompts till we get our final product ready. But Replit solved it by actually, in, by actually simulating a user. Because if you think about this nomads.com app, I literally wrote this prompt. The prompt is build me a digital nomads app for people to meet who are nomads, who can post jobs because nomads.com has all of these features. Uh, activities, find meetups, host meetups. So it, ha it should have the ability that any user can create a meetup in a digital nomad city and then describe areas 
to go and visit in those places which are either techno, cyberpunk, hippie, or you know maybe touristy. So based on based on that, you can go let's say some part of New York City which is hippie, etc., and you can build it and just watch it build. I was amazed that it does not ask for a single follow-up prompt. It goes through the prompt, understands that this this website actually needs a database. It creates a JSON post, Postgres style database. Database requirement is not needed, but the idea is it is integrated with authentication, database, and most importantly, payment in one go, all happening with the transparency of how much credits it's using from my credit card. I paid for one month subscription, $25, plus it was a deal which you can find with my description, with my link in description below, which had charged me only $15 for my credit card. And every step along the way, it told me how much charging. And most importantly, when it was just doing UI fixes, because I'm using it to make a liquid glass design, it actually charged me $0 because all all UI changes, at least for my experience, was absolutely free. The design could be as basic as the design right now here of nomads, nomads.com or you can call it nomadsmeetup.com, whatever you want to call this website. And as futuristic as liquid glass like the Apple design with movements of mouse keeping in track on this website, it was free UI UX changes. Brilliant. And then in the end, after this website was built, I saw in the process, it is actually testing the entire website. Just see it. This video shows that it's, it's first of all a video evidence, which is a big thing. It is going and clicking every single part of the website and testing it in the video form. And it is bug free when it actually shipped as well. I was amazed that one shot prompting, giving me the final product, testing it like a coder would do, beautifully done now i can see some of the details it's using postgres postgres database plus it's actually using css shad cn ui all of those futuristic ui tools it's using and once again this video how it's testing the app still blows my mind all right so this is the first version of the app Decent, you will call it. Next step, before I actually improve the design, I want to actually integrate Stripe into it. Uh, once again, if I repeat, when Andre Karpati was wipe coding, he spent hours in integrating Stripe, creating Stripe account, clicking through 10 tabs, but Replit is integrated with Stripe. Within five minutes, it actually makes your app ready to make money by connecting to Stripe, which is so amazing. So you can, get validation if customers want to pay for your app that means they want to app. you get validation every day if you uh, if you like peter levels he was making one app every single month for 12 months when he was 27 that's how he got here if you want right now in the world of pipe coding you can build one app a day a week as fast as you want and test if someone out there is trying to pay for your app that means your app is needed. That's the beautiful part of it. Okay, now Stripe is integrated, you can see it. And next part is let's make the design futuristic liquid glass. You can ask any AI chat GPT to, you know, give you a liquid glass like design. I copy this prompt, paste it, and now it is tracking my mouse movements. Every single frame has this glossy look, which makes it so beautiful, the website so beautiful. And once again, it has map, way to post jobs, everything handled by community. You don't need to hire anyone to do anything. That's why that's this Nomads app is one of the most valuable app, making $16,000 a month. Because if someone is paying $100, that guy would not be scammy. That, night, that guy might not be like, you know, uh, just spamming out bullshit stuff. So because if someone is paying $100 for this app, you've already passed the validation that user is going to be a good user. That's the mindset I learned through Peter Levels that he didn't have to hire any anyone for this app as a moderator because he put a cost, $100, that is enough friction for a, for a spammer to join. Of course, there could be one in a 10 or one in a 100 case, but that is a beautiful idea of Silicon Valley and also of Peter Levels that is in the mindset of every single vibe coder I see right there. Shipping fast rather than waiting for your ideas to be delivered and then tested. Next, 
The, since it has a database, I could literally write a prompt, add new Delhi to the city, it will be added immediately. You can add this functionality in your website. Anyone can add any city they want to. Anyone can add details to the maps. All these features, all total, costed me $15 of credits. Transparently, Replit showed me, and that's how the app becomes scalable and most importantly, powering with authentication and enabling you to test by making money as you go. So that's my experience with Replit Agents 3.0. What do you all think about it? Check out immediately with my link in description below. And thank you so much Replit for sponsoring this video as well.